The Iron Mountain Boys basketball team fell short of their state title goal over the weekend, falling to Flint Beecher in the championship game. Although the Mountaineers failed to make it to the peak of the mountain, their climb is something they will remember forever. The Iron Mountain Boys basketball team just wrapped up one of the most memorable postseason runs in UP basketball history. The Mountaineers battled through seven games in just 17 days, but ran out of gas in the state championship game, falling to Flint Beecher. We, we just said in the huddle after the game that, you know, we didn't, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but nobody could take away the, um, the relationships that we built and the memories that we made. I don't know, it was just a, a tremendous ride. You know, Foster was at the heart of it, um, and, you know, he's just a, I don't know, he's the leading scorer in the history of Upper Peninsula basketball, which I hold in high regard. The defeat was heartbreaking for the Mountaineers, who found themselves the state runner-up for the second time in three years. No one may have taken the loss harder than senior Foster Wonders, who had his best season, which capped off a historic career. You know, like Coach Izzo said, you know, you want guys that live it. And oh, who lived it more than Foster Wonders? Let me ask you that. Not many people. I mean, that kid spent more time in the gym, and I can't even begin to tell you the countless hours. And he wanted it bad. And he wanted to avenge that state loss. And, and you know, it was crushing to him that we weren't able to do it. Even while coming to grips with the heartbreaking loss, Wonders found time to show everyone he was born to lead. He was seen after the game congratulating every member of the Bucks team in the back hallway, showing the ultimate act of sportsmanship. He, he represented himself, his family, our school, the Upper Peninsula, at a high level of character, of effort, uh, putting a team on your back. I mean, he was... Phenomenal. Despite falling short of a state title, Johnson says he's grateful for the ride of a lifetime. Um, I've got to do it with people that I love dearly. You know, my son, all of his teammates, you know, my father-in-law, my assistant coach, and my son Kyle was able to coach this year. <laughs> I mean, these are tears of joy, Jake. I mean, they are. I mean, I, I'm, I feel like I'm the luckiest coach in the state. I mean, I know we just got beat, but um, yeah, it, it, it makes me emotional because it's been so fun and enjoyable. It's, it's like they're really like dreams come true. Rebecca, back.